In 4.2, we're going to look at the mean or the expected value. Later, we'll do standard deviation, but for the first few questions, all we need to do is the mean or expected value. You might see either. Uh, well, actually, and not only could it be mean, it could also be called the average. So there can be different names for the same thing. How do we compute it? We can scroll down. Here we go. Mu is the sum of x times p of x. Now, I do have these formulas here. Chapter 4. Here we go. Mu is x times p of x. And this sigma means sum or add together. So we need to go and do that. Uh, you could look at an example here. So what I'm going to do is make a chart very similar. We're given x, we're given the probability. We need to compute x times p of x and then add these numbers together. So that's exactly what we're going to do in Excel, of course. So here we go. Copy and paste. I'm just doing control shift V so I have no formatting problems. My labels would not copy, but it's not a problem. All right, x times p of x. So you're doing equals a2 times b2. So you're just multiplying x times p of x. We're going to do that for all of these. And again, a3 times b3 a4 times b4, a5 times b5. All right, once we have these, that's x times p of x, we're then, we computed all these, we're then going to add, the, add them all together. So that's sum, and left click drag, c2 colon c5, enter. 2.4 is the expected value. And that is correct. Okay. So again, you take X times P of X. You do that for every single entry here. Some tables are taller, but that's okay. And then you add up all of these. You're not going to get one. Or, well, you, you might get one, but probably not. You, where you will get one, if you just add the P of X's together, you should get one. You're very unlikely to get one over here because you're doing this X times P of X for all of these, and you'll get a number over here. It's usually gonna be bigger than one, but not always. 